All right, welcome to another edition of First Looks with Buddha Man. This is Spencer with Island Live Nation, and today we're looking at Eden's Quest, uh, The Hunt for Akua. And basically what we have here is a point-and-click adventure game slash puzzle game. Uh, mostly a puzzle game. There's not. There's a little bit of, like, uh, search and find in it, Hello. which is kind of classic for a point-and-click adventure, but... And, uh, it's nothing like uh, Jolly Rover if you played that one. We'll also be doing a video on that too. But it came out at the same time as Jolly Rover and Bob came in pieces. And uh, a lot of people were upset last week and uh, really no reason to be, I guess, unless you're expecting more. But these games are really good and this one is fun. Uh, I wouldn't say there's a lot of replayability with it because the puzzles aren't going to change, but... The uh, voice acting is pretty cheesy in it, and it does drop out later on. Um, it does sound much better than it does in this video. As you can hear, it's uh, sped up. So, And I, I do like some of the cutscenes in it, especially this one right here. Uh, it reminds me of Gorillaz and what they did with uh, Plastic Beach, if you're familiar with them. It's a musical group. Uh, I'll let you hear some of the voice acting here. What do you know about this treasure hunt? Oh, not a lot. All I do is transport competitors. But I do know there are stone statues that issue the challenges. I'm sorry, I don't follow. I don't know. How do they do I've that? I've never seen them. Hold on, we're done. Okay, so that was just some of the voice acting in it. Uh, and it goes back to a, a rehash of that same boat animation, which is kind of a letdown. It's a little lazy, in my opinion, but... This game really isn't meant for its graphics, it's a puzzle game, it's meant for its puzzles. Um, so just a quick hash of what's going on here with this story. Um, you get a mysterious invite to this treasure hunt. <clears throat> Ironically, your last name is Name Hunt. And uh, basically you're in search of a $10 million prize uh, that you get by solving these puzzles to move around the island. And uh, the, the story doesn't really wrap up too much of the time. You can skip through the story animations. Uh, real quick, you can see one of the first puzzles here. Really simple. Uh, your award points and the points decrease for wrong answers. Uh, you can also get hints with uh, coins that you collect. Not unlike the crackers in uh, Jolly Rover. But uh, basically, the way you move around here is you have to open gates with puzzles from these uh, different totems and there's also different gate puzzles um, there's a few uh, search and find puzzles which you'll see one later on here we're entering uh, chapter one as you can see this is a little prequel and uh, there's a pretty good variety of difficulty with the puzzles. Some are really simple, uh, some are kind of frustrating, and some of them at the end of it, if you end up using hints and stuff, you're kind of kicking yourself for how easy it was. Um, there's a couple, there's one like math problem that's uh, extremely simple, but if you're not really thinking hard about it, you're going to get confused. Um, here's another puzzle here. It's kind of similar to um, like children's uh, brain toys, if you will. Uh, no, you might have had some when your child usually with like trucks or something like that. It basically works the same way where they can only move a certain direction sliding. So it's really classic types of puzzles. Um, they do have a little bit of a, their own spin on the story. Um, I know a lot of people have compared it to Professor Layton's series, uh, claiming that's pretty much identical, uh, which I wouldn't doubt. I haven't played it personally, but just based on everything I've heard online and stuff, it's pretty much identical. <clears throat> now, here's a little bit of that search and find I was talking about, which is uh, it's nice to see that this game does have that much of a variety to it. And then uh, after the search and find, you get this jigsaw again, which is also pretty easy. Um, if you're confused at this part, how to rotate them, you just double-click them, 
Uh, left click mouse button. Alright, and uh, coming up, another uh, totem challenge. Challenge number two. This is a math problem I was talking about. And um, I'm not ashamed to admit that I was definitely overthinking this one. But uh, it gives you a chance to see how the hints work. And uh, as you can see, they cost uh, one coin. And you have a maximum of three hints you can do. And um, basically, it's a math problem. If you don't feel like reading it, uh, this parrot flies nine miles away and returns. It's going back constantly, back and forth constantly to the ship, which is moving at 34 miles per hour. Uh, well, the uh, bird's moving 34 miles per hour and the boat is traveling 9 miles per hour and it's a 9 mile journey and the parrot's going continuously back and forth and you gotta figure out uh, how far the parrot travels before they reach the island and uh, it's actually really simple and I was overthinking it but the boat's gonna be traveling for one hour the bird goes 34 miles per hour so it travels 34 miles but uh, as you can see I used the hints there um, so you can see how that works. Uh, you don't lose points for using the hints, you just lose the coins that you spend on it. So that's nice, because um, <clears throat> they are pretty generous in the beginning with the coins, you get like a starter pack. And, uh, <clears throat> they are pretty simple in the beginning, um, you can overthink them, but those coins will definitely help. Um, from what I understand about this game, it takes about four to five hours to complete, um, which is really good for a play pack title, because uh, you don't really want to spend that much time on them, you want there's other games to play. But basically, if you're a fan of puzzle games, or uh, that, especially that Professor Leighton series that I mentioned earlier, um, this is a game to check out. It's not for everyone. If you don't like puzzles, you're not going to like this game. But uh, overall, I think it's a good addition to the play pack. And uh, if you look at on on live, the average rating I think right now is five stars. So, all right, thanks for watching.